Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have Andrew Rogers, our super grandmaster fitter <laughs> from Titleist. Hi guys. And he's going to fit me with the new TSR heads. Yep. So I want to thank you for joining us last uh, video and you've seen all the heads right now, the two, three and four. And today we're going to get myself fitted. Yep. I'm really going to dial you in this time. All right. Yeah. So we managed to get some good numbers in the last video, yep. but today is going to be a bit more detailed. Yep, sure. Uh, we're going to use my shaft that I'm using and we're going to go through all the hits, the two, three and four. And we're going to show you guys um, if there's any difference. I bet there will be. And there'll be some gains that you will see from my previous hit, which is the TSI-3. And then subsequently, maybe Andrew might give me try on the new shafts that yep. we actually have. We'll, we'll try a few new fun things today and okay. see if we can get it. Last time was a little bit of just a trial and just a little bit so you could see it and feel the product. Now we're really going to turn the wick up and dial it in and try and build you a beast. Nice, I like yeah. build me a beast. So if I can get 10 meters longer, that would be awesome, right? That would be pretty impressive if we can get you 10 meters more, but we'll do our best. <laughs> okay, so let's begin. Okay, Andrew, so we're going to start off by hitting some, some drivers first. Yeah, man, so we want to set some baselines with your current driver. Okay. Um, we know your current driver is really good. And every time we've hit it, when, you, when you're on, it's in optimal, optimal range. You're getting every little bit out of it. Okay. Um, actually, you're one of the hard guys to fit. Because, Why is that so? Because we've already got you at such a high level. Yeah. It can be a bit of a diminishing return, but that's where the technology in the product really becomes quite apparent. Pretty good start. That's that little drop right fade you like to see. Oh, I love it. Yeah. That seemed pretty nice, mate. Little little high toe or something? Yes, high toe. Very yep. good high toe. <clears throat> yep. That's that little stock left to right again. Yes, sir. Perfect for, what is it, um, Tanamera, the second hole there? Yes, second hole. In fact, every hole. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's try a bit of right to left. Let's see if it works. That's a great shot there. <clears throat> Yeah, 159 and a half ball speed. I hit that good, you know. Yeah, you did. Oh, maybe even better. No, I hit that slightly off close to the toe. Okay. Looked really good through the air, didn't it? It does, yeah. Yep, 160 ball, little bit of spin, 3000, so yep. that makes sense. Still 247 carry 265. Yeah, just, there, just, just slightly yeah. off. And they're pretty comparable numbers to what we were seeing in um, Thailand for you, right? That was yes. somewhere in that same... Yes, yeah. Yeah. we were. Okay. All right, so what we'll do is we'll keep your shaft the same. We like your shaft. Yes, I like my shaft. Yep, and we're just going to go straight into a like for like. From TSI3 mm -hmm. to TSR3. Okay. So guys, um, earlier on I've been hitting off my old TSI3 with uh, the shaft that I'm using is actually a Tensei Blue Raw 65X. I love this shaft a lot. And now let's see what the new head can do with the original shaft that we have. You know, one look down at the head, looks the same. Yeah. I don't think you've Good. actually changed the head, actually. Good, yeah. yeah. Yep, not a bad start, mate. Just left the face a little bit open. Yes, I missed it. Ball off. speed straight away, though, 161.5. Wow. At the same club. So your smash factor just went higher. We got to take note, okay? So yeah. I, I, I've missed this <laughs> off the new head but the ball speed went up yep. with a miss. Correct. So that means I'm going to hit it further Yeah. with a miss. It's, it's absolutely. So Some I have to shout ball now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. 163 ball speed. Yep. Oh, 
Daz, 164 and a half ball. Yeah. Ooh. One five smash again. 260 carry. 260 carry? 260 carry, yeah. And I'm not even optimized yet. Yeah, and we got more to go. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the averages that we have for my old TSI 3 versus the TSR 3 on the same shaft. So, your averages with yours, right? Mm hmm. 159.9 ball speed average mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. yours. Uh, 2600 spin, 251 carry, 271 total. Really good. Oh, nice. I like really good averages, yes. right? Mm. Swing it particularly well today as well. The new TSR3, you get a little bit more club speed. Mm -hmm. So you've gone from 107 to almost 109 club speed. Your smash factor's gone up to 1.5. You're 163 and a half ball speed. So you've, you've picked up over the three, three and a half mile an hour ball speed. Wow. Just in the head. Same loft, everything the same. So you've gone, you've gone from 251 carry average to 257 carry. average carry. So I've got six meters longer with the new head. With the new head. So you asked for 10, so we're getting there. Yes, sir, we've got 10. Think, got about, think about now where you're on the course and you're hitting driver seven iron, you're now almost driver eight iron. So now, Andrew, we're gonna hit TSR four? We are gonna hit the four, mate. Yeah, the four's a really cool head, okay. um, very different. the same face technology that the TSR2 does. So it's still quite a forgiving face. But the priority on this head is more about low spin dynamic. Mm -hmm. So this is for someone who really spins it high. Okay. But that doesn't necessarily mean, you, you, that can interpret to a lot of different players. It could be someone who's really fast, someone like you who generally hits it quite high. Mm -hmm. um, there's two main configurations we can do with the TSR4. This is in the, the forward CG placement, the low spin head. So this is giving up a little bit of control of, of, um, on the miss hits to really try and optimize the center strike. So you can see that one there, you came through with a face which was a little bit open. Yep. Still good speed, 160 ball speed, but wow. it, went, it went right. It'll yeah. go where you point it, good or bad. Yep, pretty good mate, 163 ball. Yep, really nice. That dropped the spin down, 2100 spin. Wow, so your carry is pretty much the same at 253, but the run out, that's now 280. Because it's coming in a little flatter through the air. Understand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice. So this is a very aggressive head. I hit it slightly you, off the heel though. You'd feel like you didn't quite catch that, right? Yeah, I didn't catch that. And this is the difference between the, the I, TSI 4 and the TSR 4 is now because it shares that face from the two, the mm -hmm. most forgiving model, you can miss hit it that little bit and it yep. still stays center line. Yes, you lose a bit of ball speed and the spin goes up and all that you'd expect, but you're not going to get the big gear effect left, right miss. I understand. Yeah. So I hit it off the heel, but I just stayed straight. That's right. So you've missed that one 265. <laughs> I missed it and I hit 265. Yeah, the spin went up to 27. So it is more spin, but that's, that's not bad numbers at all. Not bad for a miss. No. Would you guys like the miss, a 265 miss? Yeah, yeah. Can you help me the settings? Yeah, so we're going to have a play with that. Now, yeah, yeah. Right? So... That feels like the hit is turning in. You're, you're losing, a, you're, on balance, you're just losing a bit of carry with that. Yeah. Because it is so flat and spin so low. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the weights around. Ah, okay. So this is the heavy weight right now, mm -hmm. and the light weight's at the back. So what we'll do, this is we call this a kind of three plus, and what we're going to do is we'll make the four more forgiving. So you just stop this, yeah. This so we've, hit, so we've changed. This. Yeah, that's right. So we've got the the heavy weight here and the light weight here. So we've moved the CG further back into the head to stabilize the face. And we can switch it the other way around. We again. can, which is what you were using before, and have the heavy weight here, and that's that super low flight, low spin bullet ball. Nice. And Yep. Yeah, I can see almost instantly the ball, the, it just came out higher. It did, yeah. yeah. So still 161 and a half ball speed. Yeah. So you can feel that was a little toey, right? Yes, it was toey. That right there is the party piece of the new TSR4. 
having that flip weight in there, uh -huh. you're not going to get anywhere near as punished that. Yes, a three is going to be better at it, and two even more so, but mm -hmm. for someone who spins it really high and needs to flatten their flight out, you don't have to make as many compromises to get to that head to come out, to come alive. That's spun at 2100. Wow. 158 ball speed. We know you missed it out of the toe. Yes, correct. You've no, missed it's supposed two, to be spinny, right? Yeah, it's still Just carried 250 and gone 275 meters. So I think this head is really good for someone that has really high spin. Su yeah, yeah, super high spin. And you can keep, you can adjust the weights to a point where it suits the high spin player and drop the numbers Correct. as you go along and adjust, yeah. right? That's right. For you, because of the shape you like to hit, the three is probably still a better option, option for you just because you tend to miss a little bit a couple of mils left and right of centre because yes. you play a bunch of different shots. So your yes, club delivery varies so much, mm -hmm. which isn't a bad thing. The four for you is going to work great on that stock shot, but as soon as you start to move your flight around, then I'm going to struggle. You're going to overshape bit. it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. This, this, all the heads have got better. Yes. But this one has probably improved the most. Point and shoot. Wow. Point and shoot. Which is, if we're honest, most of us, right? Most of us are going to benefit from a driver that goes straight. Point and shoot. Yeah. Let's see how this points and shoot. Yeah, great. Okay, yes. Great. It, you can, so, it's really different from the TSR4. It is, right? When it comes off the face, TSR4 source, like you said, whatever you give it, yeah. you give whatever you give the head, you can feel the, the off misses. Sure, sure. But this is just straight, straight. Yeah. What was, yep. what was the numbers on that, Andrew? It's going to spin a little high. So that one there spun at uh, 2.9. Okay. Still 162 ball speed, but super straight, yeah? Oh, very straight. Right? So that's that same <laughs> toe strike, yeah, we saw with the four. That was straight, straight, like straight, straight. Straight as. It's, it is almost zero offline. Yeah, that was like straight. Yeah. Now, guys, you got to understand that I do not hit all my shots off center and this is where technology comes in and what I think titleists do really well is there is a hit for every type of golfer yeah so even if you're high or low you hit it really good or you hit it really bad there are hits that actually suits yeah your swing yeah that's you a really to, good point yeah you don't have to change yeah. the way you swing you just hit it and the club face will just react whatever yeah, you're hitting absolutely. it with Easy to get in the air, super straight, high launch, long. That's, That's still 164 ball speed. Yeah. So you're moving at 109. And, and what I should say about this is, this is a really, really powerful head that people shouldn't overlook. It's fast, it's forgiving. This is a really, really big improver for us. We're really proud of this head. I like the colour of the shaft. I thought you might. White colour. Nice, mate. 164 ball speed. Yeah, I can tell you that's long. Yep. 27, 257, carry 277, nice. Yep, a little bit off to the right, 163 and a half ball speed though. I tell you, I hit that good. Yep. Yeah, just with a slight open face with that, that fade. Mm -hmm. I like that. This one, the ball comes out a bit higher with this shaft, yeah. Little toey, mate? Yes. Yep. Still really nice little miss, that, isn't it? I have no complaint. That's on the fairway. It's on two... Might, might be even be long. It just seems to have a little bit more left and right in it, doesn't it? Yep. Right and left. I hit that good. Yeah. Then that would be good. 163.5 ball speed, mm. two five spin. Mm. It, it's it's the same as what you're playing. Same? Yeah. So, it, so it no doesn't, change? It doesn't offer you anything new. Okay. Wow, heavy. <laughs> Interesting. So on a on the scale, this will be pretty close in weight to what you're playing. Really? But where the weight is in the shaft is different. So it's a bit more down towards the head. 
Um, the handle might feel a little bit heavier as well. Yes. The grip might feel a bit bigger. Glossy. Yep, left it open. That first one every time seems to be the pattern, isn't it? Just, yes. That's your safe go-to shot. Yes. Aim left. Yeah, 163 ball speed. 2600 wow. spin, 260 carry. I really like how this hit is different from the old one. Even when you miss it, the ball speed just stays high. Exactly right, yeah. Ball speed stays high and the spin doesn't fluctuate too much. It's a really nice swing, Daz. 164 and a half ball, 110 club. Wow, big boy. After so many drives already, tired. <laughs> yeah, really nice. Distance? 276. Carry? 255. Okay, so I'm around that range. Yeah. Let's try 160, 260 carry. <laughs> Lovely. 166 ball speed. Yep. See ya. Wow. Mate, 257 cover. Yeah, just spun up a little, a little bit higher, right? Yeah, yeah, just spun up a little bit. How does that shaft feel? I like it. Mm, it's really nice. Yeah, nice shaft. It's fast. You're moving it faster. What I love here is we've gone to a slightly heavier shaft, slightly. Yeah. And it's the fastest swing speed you've put on it. Yeah, it's bombing out there. 165 and a half ball. <laughs> You're walking it down, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. 266 carry. Wow. 284 total meters. 266. Yeah, I got that. The spin was good. Spin was, that was like high launch, low spin, right? That's perfect. That was, so if you have a look at that, that was beyond optimal again. So we started beyond optimal. Now you've just found a whole nother gear. Whew. Yeah, like Yeah. Oban. Oban, 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 Oban. It's a thing. <laughs> Tough. On the plate will be, what is this? 1K carbon tensei. Yeah, this tensei is, black. Yeah, this is the new tensei 1K. Um, okay, okay. Which is a brand new shaft. Brand Looks new. Nice. Brand new to the market, brand new to us. This is one of our stock offerings. This is a super premium shop. Stock offering? This is a no upcharge option. You, really? Yeah, yeah, this is a wonderful Looks wonderful like it costs shop. a lot. Doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The options within the Tensei line are really going to benefit a lot of golfers. But this 1K we're particularly excited about, particularly for someone like you with a bit of speed. One sixty-five and a half and a half ball speed. It's a little bit flatter there, isn't it? Yes, I I am. I'm gonna stop doing that high launch thing and just swing whatever I feel like. That was pretty good, mate. So really? that's 165 and a half ball, 2400 spin, 255 carry, 280 total. So because it's flattened it out, yeah. We probably don't want it any lower than that. Okay, can. But that was, that was strong, really strong. Yeah, great. Not the cleanest of strikes. Nope, but still, still 163 straight. ball. Dead straight. Dead straight. 258, 288 total. 288 total. That's the longest we've seen. Heel. Oh. Heel. So yep. good. That was off the heel. That's the heel, right? But yes. still. That's my miss. 163 ball speed. What's going on? Right? Normally there'll be like 150 ball speed off the old Again, hit. you've missed it 265. It's on the right side of the fairway. With a wedge into the green, not yeah. a seven iron. Yeah. Life's good. Life is good when you got a new hits. Oh, I like it. You just left it open a little bit. Yeah, but that was good still. Right That's in the 164 and a half ball. Yeah, that was right in the middle. High spin. 5 1 smash, yep. 2 6 spin, 2 6 2 carry. What? The 1K's a, 1K's a really, really nice. Shaft it, just managing everything down, keeping the, the flight a bit flatter, and also on those off center hits, mm -mm. it seems to do a nice job of managing that toe strike and the heel strike. And I like so, it, not shiny. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's an equivalent in performance to some really expensive shafts. All right, so this is the hazardous, the new hazardous smoke. Why? Okay. We got the hazardous smoke. I think most of the viewers, a lot of golfers have this shaft. What's new about this shaft? I heard this is different. 
yeah, very, very popular shaft. They've really evolved. The weave in the carbon's a bit different. They've got a dual torsional um, design now. Okay. It's just trying to make the tip section behave a little bit more compliant, a little bit firmer without feeling firmer. Gee, it was a good start. One six seven ball. Wow. One ten club. Twenty two hundred spin. Two fifty nine carry. Two eighty four. Yep. That's my miss. That's the one that I like. Yep. One sixty three and a half ball speed. You know, time and time again, I keep hitting off the heel, but the ball speed stays up. Yeah. And the distance, what's that? Yeah, that's uh, 253 carry, 270 total. Yeah, so off the hill, weak, yeah. I still get 253. Yeah, yeah, and this is the thing. The three such a complete head. They're all great heads. Yep, comes out a little higher than the 1K, you can see, right? Yeah, so after I hit uh, this a bit more, it's a bit, a little bit more spin at the end. Yeah, yeah, you can feel. I mean, that's only spinning at 2.7. But compared to the 1K, it's coming out a bit higher. Mm. Yeah, it's floating in a bit more. Yeah. So for you, it's you're probably going to in the wind. You're probably overpowering that shaft yeah, a little bit, even yeah. in a 6.5. It is. It's a really good shaft for someone who's maybe a little bit slower, um, or hits the ball really quite low and needs a bit of help lifting it up without going into a really soft shaft. Good shaft. Yeah, Off really nice. Me. Really nice. Yeah. But you know, objectively, the 1K. Looks pretty special. So besides the TSR hits for the drivers, we've also got them in the fairway woods. Am I right to say that? Correct. Okay. So we have TSR two and three nice. uh, fairway heads. Okay. And look, fairways are something that's overlooked by so many players. So mm. many people struggle with fairway woods and they sort of think, oh, I'm not a very good fairway player, so why would I bother fitting it? I don't hit it that much. But that's, it's completely the opposite. Fairway woods should be fitted and, and they should be given the appropriate amount of time to fit as well because if you get them right they're such a powerful tool for all those viewers out there who play hybrids because they don't like hitting fairway woods i'd encourage you so 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 much to go and get a fairway wood fitting because it can really unlock a lot of power and some arsenal in your game if you're playing longer courses off the blues whatever and you're struggling to get there yep. having a, a really reliable fairway wood it doesn't have to be really complicated but it can be done it can make such a difference to your scoring so guys, get yourself fitted also for the fairway woods. I've got the TSI too, and then we'll hit a few shots and see what happens with the new ones. Guys, I must admit, I'm pretty tired now. My, I'm soaked. It's 12.30 <laughs> yeah. in the afternoon. It's like noon, noon. It's not, about 30, 38 degrees right now and very humid. So okay. you're doing a great job, mate. You're doing better than most would. I'm hanging there. Nice. Okay. Wow, it's a pretty good flight there. So it's another great golf club in your bag we're gonna struggle to get rid of, I think. <laughs> I hit it good, I like it. So, how would you use this? Do you hit it off tees, do you hit it at greens? I hit this to get it close to the greens. I don't hit this long, I don't want, I don't want this to be long. Yeah. I want this to have like a certain number and I want to hit fairways when my driver's not really working well on right. the day. Yeah. So I, I have to say kinda. I have to say, Daz, this is about as close to perfect three wood numbers okay. as I've seen. Nice. Must be the club. Yeah. Yep. Even better again. I like that. Tough, tough, mate. Really, really nice. I mean, that's coming through 218 carry, landing angle of 41. It launches at 11, spins at 3.8. I don't know much. What, you you know, did really a good job, my friend. Yeah. In my previous fitting. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets. Okay, so what would you like to change about that, if anything? Nothing. So make it better, just don't change it. I love how the head looks at the bottom. And this looks like I can easily hit this off the face. Yeah. Just by looking at the top. Looks forgiving. Yeah. It looks forgiving because it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. 
So, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like we said, just faster. So that's, you've gone from 150 average ball speed, that's 152 and a half. Same head, everything's the same. Yeah, but it's very soft off the face and it feels like just boom. Yeah, yeah. TSR, so it's a, it has changed a lot. The fairway woods are really big improvers as wow. well. And reposition of the weight, they've lost the ARC channel, and they've pushed the weight more forward in the head, but it's still really low, so you get more speed, still comes off high. That one there launched um, pretty similar to your current one, mm -hmm. but that's got a little bit less spin on it, but it's crucially faster, so it's got more carry through the same window in the sky. Yeah. 152 and a half ball speed. <laughs> you can't stop looking at it, can you? I, I tell you, there'll be a lot of golfers when they fit into this wood, they're yep. going to go like, wow, so easy to hit. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. No, this is hips better than the previous one you hit. And that's, Honestly, this is so much better. And this, that's what we say. Oh my goodness. Don't overlook your fairways. Fairway, setting them up right and spending the time just to get them fit up correctly it really can unlock a lot of performance and particularly the people who benefit the most from it are people mm -hmm. who struggle with fairway woods. Wow, okay. So my fairway woods typically carry 217, 218. So yep. when I want to squeeze one for 220, yep. let's see what we can get off this. Okay. That's a nice shot there, mate. Oh, I don't know. Maybe 219. Yeah. 220 on the line. 154 ball speed. Yes, sir. Oh, that's faster. Faster. Carry. 220 carry. 42 landing angle. Good. It's just a better version of what you've got. Yeah, yeah. Agree. I would be really interested to see how that 1K... On this shaft? Shaft went in the fairway. I also want to see. Yeah. Okay, so I've got in the new Tensei shaft, the Tensei Black. Yeah, the new 1K. So we like this in the driver, it's same length as yours, which is a little bit shorter, 42 and a half inches. Okay. Oh, okay. So, that was good. I guarantee this is longer, and this is, <laughs> well, I would say it's 150, 156 ball speed. Wow. And I had a shorter shaft, <laughs> and I swung it. Okay, wait, wait, I, have the, okay. I had a shorter shaft with this new one, I guarantee you that first hit was off the center and that went far, far. Yeah. But not too ridiculous, right? I mean, it wasn't ridiculous in the sense that you maintain the height, the landing okay. angle, how the descent in the green, yeah. 42 degrees. So it's just as high. Okay. But spinning at three and a half, 232 carry. What? Yeah. I'm afraid, accidentally, you've hit it a lot longer. <laughs> no, I did say I don't want to hit longer with the three, but I changed my mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, it, it helps off the tee when you have a so 230 carry. The way, the way I would say you think about that is... Why? Why? How come it... Your driver, your driver now goes... Bear in mind, this is average. Yes. How, how 283. Come? Average. Yeah. And now your fairway wood carries 232. There's not many par fives in Singapore or Southeast Asia that you're not getting home in two on. Well, not now. Yeah. Not now. Strong, wow. very, very strong. So that 1K shaft, like it did in the driver, just knocks a bit of spin out of it. Yeah, it just firms everything up. Yep. Brings the flight down. It's 235 carry at 37 landing angle. So it was that. That's your tee up club. Yeah. Let's that's, just put that in context. The ball speed with your driver at 159.9, right? Yep. So it's almost 160. Ball speed with that, it's 155 and a half. It's touching. It's touching on getting pretty close to your old driver. That's illegal, bro. Great, I like that, I like that. That's the one you've come through, the little open face. Yes. That's the miss we want to see in your fairway wood, where it misses high. It's still 155 point, 156 ball speed. So the spin did go up, but you've carried it 223, landing at 47. So it, that's exactly the- You only the change sh shaft. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's a TSR 15 degree in the same setting as yours, so it's, you're playing a TSI 2 and a 15, same, same. Really? Just the head, and we've just refined the shafts a little bit. And the weight's the same? Yeah, weight's the same, everything's the same. It's the 75X? Yep. It's just a because it's shaft. black. Because it's coming off faster now with the head, mm -hmm. we have to re, sort of just refine the ball flight a bit. Same shaft, no trickery in it, just a better head. 
The head's the engine driving it all, and the shaft is your transmission or your suspension sort of holding everything together. Wow. Love that. That could be the shot of the day right there. 156.6 ball speed. Mic drop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 233 carry, 35 spin, landing at 40 degrees. It's the perfect three wood. Wow, it's true. They say, you know, once you go back black, you don't go back. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm going to hit TSR 3 now. So I have the TSR 2, which is the one I like. So we're going to go with the black shaft, the one that's been working so well with this TSR3 head. And let's see what happens. Wow, this head is good too. Hmm. Yep, bit of a different feeling there, wasn't it? Does. It does. Um, feels different. Yep. I think the TSR2 is a bit more forgiving. But let's see. Uh, it definitely is. This is a bit more biased to flatten your flight out, take a bit of spin off it. Understand. Yeah, really nice flight. Really nice flight. Because now this will come out a bit flatter. Yes, it's a bit lower. Yeah, this is great if you're going to use it as a like a driver replacement off tees. You want to chase it down a fairway. Mm -hmm. For you, because you want to hit it at greens and so on, the two does come a little higher. Yep and gives you a bit better landing angles. Mm -hmm. This is going to come out landing angle uh, 37. So it's going to run a bit Low. harder. It's mm. more about total distance than it is carry distance. Understand. How far was that, my friend? That one there carry. carried 233. Yeah, but it came in at such a low landing angle. Yeah. The total distance was a lot longer. That's totaled okay. near 258. So, okay. Yeah. So this is long in a different way. I like the height of the TSR2. No doubt yep. this two I think goes the same distance, pretty much the same. Yep. But the yep. launch on that is better because the ball can then soft. It's, it's all about how it comes in on the back end of the flight. Okay. This comes in more like your traditional driver flight. It's going to hit the ground with some attitude and kick forward, mm -mm. which is fine. But for you, how you're going to play it, the two comes in a little bit of a steeper landing angle and won't run out as far. So you've got to think about it, the total distance on these might almost be the same, but the two's landing and stopping right at that distance, whereas this is landing a bit short and running up. Yes. So off a tee, you know, long par five, you're not going to get to, you want to run it down, get it on the, get it on the deck a bit early. Windy conditions or a high spin player, mm -hmm. this starts to come into its own. Okay. This feels good too. But if I were to choose between the two, it would be the TSR2 because the height. I need the height, high carry, land soft, no run out. And man, this shaft is a beast. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. And you know what? No upcharge, no extra money. Amazing. Okay, let's summarize. Wow. Amazing. Amaze balls. Amazing. Okay, so I've just completed this one hell of amazing fitting. And wow. the numbers that we got, oh my gosh. And there's three yeah. wood. Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, okay, I... I'm sorry, but I do want distance off my three wood, and that was reasonable. I, Can right? Yeah, I think it was the most impressive part was how optimized your stuff already was, and to be able to get the gains that we got was pretty surprising, um, but very very cool. Just when I thought that the TSI, the one that I have is already yeah. optimized, and yeah. why is this what refine? It's the refinement of whatever I have. It's yeah, I mean, it's it's really wow. that much faster. Yes, it is yeah. so much faster. Yeah. So let's summarize. Andrew, my driver, so what do we have in my new setup? So new, the new driver is going to be the TSR3 in the 9 degree, which is the same loft you're playing now, same B1 setting, virtually the same setup. Um, but we have changed the shaft, mainly we changed the shaft because it's coming off that much faster. It sort of went into a different flight window, so we went to that 1K Tensei uh, white shaft, mm -hmm. 65X, it brought the flight down a little bit and we saw some pretty massive gains with it. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, yeah. So we've got TSR3, 9 degrees in that Tensei Black. Yep, yep, uh, Tensei Black and 45 inches too, under length shaft, so nothing crazy in the shaft length, it's all just the head. Mm. And the gain I got off that was a whole crazy 9.8 yards, with 4 miles of ball speed gained, just yeah. the head. Yeah, and that's right. With the refinement of the shaft. And, and there's a little bit more in the tank when you choose to stand on it too. You're not going to overpower that golf club, and if you give it a bit more speed, you're going to get a lot more, as are some of those we saw. Yeah, that's amazing, we yeah. don't have to. Next, the fairy woods. Wow, the, the, yeah. the fairy woods, 
it's a different animal. I think the engine, the head itself is a different engine. Let's yeah. say it's we've upgraded to something that's even faster. Just yeah. I, I leave it to your imagination. Yeah. And we've got from two. 18 carry to 230 carry? Two, 219 average carry, and now you're out over 230 carry, 233 average carry. Which is with the new head. Same, the same under lengths, 42 and a half, a little bit shorter in the shaft, same loft. Just we went from a TSI 2 15 degree to a TSR 2 15 degree, and it just went bang, came alive. And I think that's a great lesson for those people out there who haven't been fitted for their fairway wood, how important it can be, how much of a tool that can be. Yeah. The, the new fairway woods are different, it's forgiving. Mm. When I step over and saw the head, I know that the ball's going to come out really hot. I don't know, but you've just got to try it out yourself. So, say, Titleist has yes. extended yep. two free fitting for us, you know, my viewers. And all you have to do is comment right down below on the head that you think you'll be trying it out. I'll be choosing two lucky winners to go for a fantastic fitting experience with the Grandmaster, Andrew Rogers. Try, yes? Try la. Yeah, try la. Try. Just try, try la. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and may the cause be with you. Bye-bye.